Today I decided to, uh, to make a patch chord. I want to be able to, to listen to the original uh, sound system that came with the computer and also be able to hook up an auxiliary amplifier so I can hear it in the house or even outside. So what I got here is a Altoids box and then I already had some an RCA patch cord and I just chopped off the ends and I won't use these later on. So now I get these out of the way. So at the bottom there I have a female or actually four female RCA jack and that's what I'm going to mount into the, the Altoids box. Uh, first off, uh, uh, I did take me a piece of styrofoam to kind of keep them crushing, you know, as I drilling through because getting the bigger size bits kind of makes it tough. And also, I started off with a, a small size drill uh, just to use as a power. Uh, just something about like that. And then. And of course, a three-eighths drill. And now, since I've got these holes drilled, now I can mount these. These come apart. And these are the solder type. Uh, some people kind of cheat and just feed the wire through and bend the tangs over to hold them in place. It's really best to solder. I mean, anytime you're doing, uh, dealing with electronics, it's best to solder if you can. And uh, one more thing, uh, I got a hole for the back. That's where the, the RCA cable will feed into. Uh, these here, this end, will actually go into this hole here. And I'm try to find something for the insulation uh, to keep the wire from getting cut and being rattled around in the box. So. So I have the uh, patch cord going in through a hole in the back of the Altoids box and slid a piece of plastic tubing over the the, uh, the RCA cable coming through the back of the box uh, to keep the wire from getting cut and then I can use a, a wire tie to, to tie it. Uh, use a good, good rule of thumb to solder anything if you can instead of twisting wires together or taping them and such. When you solder it makes a good conduction and usually helps to hold in place uh, a little bit more durable. You can still rip the wires out. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop that hardly unless you have a stop on the cable. But uh, So what I've done is these little jumpers I've 10 nose. They uh, make it a little easier to, to solder together when you uh, trying to do the final assembly with a bunch of wires, switches, or any anything that you're going to solder. Have everything tinned real good, and it goes a lot easier. Okay, this is the finished product here, so now, now I'll be able to take a signal and feed. All right, here's the finished product. Works pretty good, I'd have to say. I <laughs> uh, even went back and added another little goodie. The other way I can hook up the computer. I still listen to the, the original speakers on the computer and add two different amps. So if I want one inside the inside the house and another one maybe outside the house. So uh, yeah, here it is.